United Kingdom now, confusion in Prime Minister Boris Johnson's faced opening of the economy. Joining us live from the United Kingdom is J.L. Bautista. Good evening from Manila, J.L. Hi, Alma. Good evening. Good to see you. What so are your updates, updates for, for us? today? Yes. Yes. Um, so British Prime Minister Boris Johnson faced his questions from journalists and the public after unveiling its 50-page plan to slightly ease the lockdown measures across the UK. Johnson has changed the nationwide stay-at-home slogan and replaced it with stay alert and said in a televised address on Sunday that everyone who was unable to work from home, such as construction and manufacturing workers, was now being actively encouraged to return to work. But as the country enters its eighth week under unequal social and economic restrictions, his call created confusion among the public about when and how they can go to work, leave their homes or socialize. Some Londoners say they were left with more questions than answers following the Prime Minister's speech, while others claim people are already ignoring the advice. Let's listen in to the reactions. Business people or people like that, I mean, I don't know too much all about it, but I think they're kind of left in the dark a bit and I feel a bit bad for them, really. Begin to allow people to return to their way of life, but crucially, while avoiding what would be a disastrous second peak that overwhelms the NHS. I don't think there's much change, or that's how it appears to be, apart from the going outside. Still a bit of confusion around who's to go to work and who's not to go to work and what you're to do if you've got children at home, who's taking care of them. So it doesn't appear there's much change at all. Well, if anyone can make anything of that, then they're a genius. Um, why he gave that... Uh, why he gave that information out without publishing the 50-page document beforehand seems absolutely pointless because the devil's always going to be in the detail. But again, it's consistent with how the government has operated throughout the whole kind of throughout this whole period, which is not wanting to make any hard and fast decisions because they don't want to be seen as the bad guys. A lot of people were just were already sunbathing and in groups. And there, were, and there wasn't any kind of, uh, there weren't any police or wardens up there. So I think it's already started. And that's the problem. I think people are unsure. And some people will not consciously take advantage of it. But already I noticed in there, there are a couple of people, whereas people had been making sure that they were trying to stay away, just walking straight past you. I think people think, oh, it's probably OK now. And that's the mixed message. Um, it's not an easy decision. But I think there should be a lot more said for the people that haven't got it as well off of other people, like business people or people like that. I mean, I don't know too much at all about it, but I think they're kind of left in the dark a bit and I feel a bit bad for them, really. Begin to allow people to return to their way of life, but crucially, while avoiding what would be a disastrous second peak that overwhelms the NHS. After each step, we will closely monitor the impact of that step on the R and the number of infections and all the available data and will only take the next... Yes, JL. Yes, so Johnson defended his new Stay Alert, Control the Virus, Save Lives slogan in Parliament as a valid piece of advice, even though there are criticisms from opposition MPs and leaders in Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. Johnson had announced the message along with an alert, an alert system, system ranging from level one to five to help quickly determine how measures can be relaxed without triggering a second wave of infections. Defending his plan on Monday, Johnson accepted that further lockdown rules might be put back or lifted for some parts of the UK, but not others. Prime Minister Johnson also added, if everyone stays alert and follows the rules, we can control the virus, keep the rate of infection and the number of infections down. Back to you, Alma. All right. So, um, 
earlier you mentioned about the um, based, uh, uh, an, you mentioned an alert system was announced to help with relaxing the measures without triggering a second wave of infections. Can you tell us more about this? Yes, of course, Alma. So there are five alert levels that will be used to inform the easing or tightening of lockdown restrictions. The system is designed to mirror the independent terror alert system. Level five is critical. This level would require a strict lockdown and means the virus is quickly spreading and could overwhelm the NHS. Level four is severe. This is the level the UK is currently at and means the NHS is stretched but is coping. Level three is substantial. This means the virus is in general circulation and the NHS is operating at extra capacity. Some restrictions will need to stay in place, but it will be safe to relax some measures. Level two is moderate. This means there is a low level of transmitting the virus and the NHS is operating normally. Schools and businesses should be able to open subject to social distancing measures. Level one is low. This means the virus is no longer present in the UK. No behavioral restrictions will be needed and public and private sectors will be able to operate normally. Back to you, Alma. All right. Thank you very much, JL. Stay safe, stay healthy, and thank you for your time. Much appreciated. Thank you, Alma. Reporting from London, United Kingdom, this is JL Bautista and related.